Okay, so still trying to answer some more of these uh, questions to do uh, videos on and trying to do some little ones. I've got some uh, more stuff coming up. I've taken some of the big uh, Q&A and some of the lecture pieces that I've done and I'm starting to break them up into little pieces and then schedule more videos to do on, uh, on a bunch of different topics actually. So I'm hoping to really do a lot more video stuff this year. But uh, I want to answer some questions on these short videos that I can just post on Instagram and social media and get out there. And one of the questions that uh, somebody came back and asked me about, and I'll tag his name when I post this, was uh, what does it mean, what does being heathen mean to you? And uh, well, if you've watched any of my videos, you will know that being heathen to me is complicated and in-depth and means a whole bunch of shit. But how do I put that into a smaller chunk? And uh, so for me, I, I think one of the biggest things is, is being heathen is really all about how you behave. So it, it's about the worldview. It's about knowing the gods and respecting them, making offerings and understanding the value that they bring to like the freaking cosmos, not to you personally, because they don't really fucking care about you, but they care about us as a species and as life and, and all of this. And, and we need to honor and respect that. Um, and that, that's kind of a high end thing. And so like on the day to day, venerate your ancestors, know where you came from and remember your ancestors. Um, make offerings to the land whites. It's important that you maintain those connections with the land and with your environment and with your community. And then on community, understand inner guard, your, your inner circle, your tribe, and for fuck's sake, put your goddamn resources and time there. Uh, seriously, your best behavior, your best resources, your most amount of caring, your most amount of love, your most amount of attention should all go to your inner guard. And if your inner guard is just your family, then that's where it goes. Um, but realistically, it's not because inner guard is way more than just family, but it's not nearly as much as everybody would like to think. Uh, and, and I really think that is the basis of my view of heathenry. And uh, for those people who have read it, I, I wrote a poem called My Name Is Not My Own. Well, the poem's called My Blood Is Not My Own. But it starts with My Name Is Not My Own. Uh, it's on loan to me from my ancestors, and I have to return it. And uh, there's a whole uh, set of stanzas, but that kind of encompasses uh, all of what heathenry means to me. Uh, you know, I am... I started out with, anyways, everything that my ancestors gave to me, from my blood, to my luck, to my weird, to my name, and then it's my responsibility to make that better, and then to pass that on, to build a stronger web, and to keep that in mind. And so, uh, yeah, what heathenry means to me, understand the worldview, understand the basics, know what inner guard is, put your resources into your inner guard, and always, always, always honor your ancestors and then always sacrifice to the gods. Just not a whole lot because you don't really want a lot of their attention.